A fungal spot pathogen is taking over and will kill your crops if you don't take action now. I originally thought I was seeing leaf spot septoria, but after genetic identification, myself and medicinal genomics have identified it as alternaria. And this is what you need to know. Alternaria is a genus of dark spore forming fungi that infects a wide variety of crop species. It's a necrotic fungus that kills its host cells and feeds on the dead tissue. It produces brown target-like spots or lesions that spread from the bottom up defoliating your leaves while tanking quality health and yield. On some plants, spots darken, turn papery, and start to crack. Alternaria makes dark multi-celled canadia, spores that are highly mobile in wind and in water. It infects through wounds, natural openings, and germinates under warm, high humid conditions. And it excretes toxins that trigger cell death and accelerate senescence. These toxins disrupt membranes, messaging signaling, and plant metabolism. The fungus also produces enzymes that degrade cell walls, and it can produce spores repeatedly, driving epidemics. Alternaria can persist post-harvest on crop residue, and that can lead to further epidemics. Alternaria infects nearly 400 different plant species. It's opportunistic, and it can colonize stress tissue across many species. So you need to manage weeds and volunteers because they can sustain the inoculum. There are some things you can do preventively, such as the use of biopesticides, species of synergistic microorganisms like Bacillus subtilis, Trichoderma, and Pseudomonas. These beneficial microbes work to inhibit fungal pathogens, induce systemic resistance, and produce antifungal compounds. Breeding specific crops for resistance and understanding plant nutrition is one of the best defenses against alternaria. Using genetic marker assisted selection can help expedite the process of creating cultivars with genetic resistance and proper nutrient balance and the use of silica consistently reduces alternaria sensitivity and it upregulates defense genes. Also increasing calcium can strengthen tissue and it is shown to increase resistance.